Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, Law Creations here. A uh, quick video. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to in regards to my newest diorama that I've been working on. Uh, the other day I had a package and uh, it was a piece of furniture and a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of different form was inside and I'd be like, I was like, cool, I'm gonna make, uh, I'll keep this stuff and I'll make a diorama out of it. But little did I know once I started. Uh, it's the first time I ever started using that foam, and if you can see it there, it's very, uh, I mean, it's very brittle, and it just it just breaks apart really easy, and it looks like it's it's not very compact. It's uh, it's got all small little balls, so when you actually go to cut it, it uh, all that just falls apart, and it just makes such a mess. I just spent about uh, probably about forty minutes just cleaning up the studio of these. Uh, these little pieces of foam uh, actually had to go to my hot wire and that, that actually cut it a lot better but it is very fragile very brittle and it just breaks apart but this whole piece in front of you is made out of that particular foam everything so what I had to go ahead and use uh, is a product from hot wire foam factory it's called uh, all-purpose foam coat and that when you mix it to the ratio it asks for it uh it becomes like very hard cement so uh I, I made the mistake here on this particular base i made the mistake of carving out my lines and then using a foam coat over it but if you can see i lost a lot of my uh my line work and it doesn't really show so I'm going to have to uh, do something to fix that. But let me just show you how it hardens. You mix uh, three pots of this to one pot water. That's the, uh, that's the ratio there. And uh, it dries within 12 to 24 hours, uh, depending on the, uh, the humidity. But uh, if you can see, I, I extended it out. I had another piece of this particular foam. And if you can see the sides, all the little bubbles, and especially up top there all that just falls apart so I have to do something to secure it so I use the foam coat but that's the foam coat there it hardens like a like a cement right here this is just made out of uh, popsicle sticks and then foam coated and you can really see the texture on the side all this right here was foam coated with the uh, foam coat and all this needs to be so that's what i'm going to be doing tonight i have to uh have to mix it up and uh and apply it but so all this becomes just one piece and a lot more solid and then once everything is uh coated in the foam coat i'll just go ahead and add my details i'm still not sure what uh direction i'm going to go with it but i do believe there'll be some columns it, it, it'll be uh It'll be a medieval Roman whatever uh, type of display. But uh, yeah, the first time using this foam board, I probably won't use it again for, for a diorama. At least not using it completely. It's just, uh, it's just too work intensive in regards to the foam coat. It takes too time consuming and it's just not good quality for, uh, for dioramas that you want to last. If you're going to put some time and effort into your dioramas, you want them to uh you want them to last a while and be uh be durable. So in order for this to be durable, I have to uh I have to treat it with this particular product. I had that for a while. I saw a review on it and I said, "Oh, it'd be pretty cool to use." And it does give a really nice texture and it does it will paint up nice and all that texture will show. So you can sand it, you can also, you know, you can file it down, you can, this is a whole bunch of properties that it has. But I just wanted to show you guys that particular, uh, that particular application, what I, what I need to do to secure this style foam. And I'll keep you posted on this diorama. And, uh, but I don't recommend this foam for dioramas. I would stick with the Home Depot insulation style foam board, and I would stick with the Hobby Lobby half inch foam board, or the Lowe's, or... But definitely not, uh, not all, maybe not all packaging is this brittle, but not recommended. I, I, don't, I don't obviously recommend floral foam for dioramas, but uh, definitely stick with uh, 
you have standard stuff but i thought i'd give this a try and uh i'll finish uh foam coating it and we'll see what we come come up with okay thank you for checking out this video guys and have a good one